When I first started doing clinics, a really common problem that I came across with horses is that they were really quite scared of the rope. Um, and horses were quite reactive to having a rope thrown around them. You know, a rope is, is just a thing. Um, it's just something you can use to desensitize your horses. So it's a really handy little trick to just check any horse that's a new horse, or, or I do it with all my young horses. Um, I check that, you know, they're going to be okay with having stuff thrown around them. You know, a rope is the start of a saddle pad, is the start of a rug, is all that sort of stuff. So, um, I just get my rope. Very important when you're doing this to maintain a calm and relaxed body posture. You don't want to be seen in any way threatening your horse or, or as being, you know, wanting to attack your horse. So if you remain really calm body language, that will help your horse to understand that this exercise is okay. And we start by just flicking the rope over the wither area. You can see I've got a soft hold on this mare. If she wants to walk off, she can. And that's the important thing. If your horse does go to walk off, let it walk, okay? It's only gonna walk around in a circle. And pretty soon, your horse is gonna get tired of walking around and start to think maybe standing still is a good idea. Now, when training your horses and working on that right thing, easy, wrong thing, difficult principle, you know, if, if moving is difficult, moving is hard work, well, pretty soon a horse will get keen to stand still. So you'll see I've just got the rope just going over, just in a nice steady rhythm, okay? You know, she's sort of looking around. She's not that concerned about it. Um, I'm working my way down their back legs. I'm huge on doing this stuff around their legs because if I get my horses stuck in wire or they get their legs stuck in a fence, I want them used to having things wrapped around their legs. Okay, we had a, a horse here that I was riding one day and he rode into a roll of hinge joint and um, he stood dead still. And one of the reasons why he stood dead still was he was used to having stuff around his legs and it enabled me to get off and untangle him out of the wire, okay? You can see the mare's pretty calm about it. She doesn't particularly like it when I get up near her head. So you know what? I'm going to spend a little more time up here, okay? She's not very happy about the fact that my hand's coming toward her eye, but I'm not getting close enough to actually hurt her or endanger her. So I'm going to repeat this a few times until she starts to understand that this is not an activity. I'm just going back towards the rope. You can see. She's starting to soften a little bit, okay? Once your horse is pretty relaxed about having it th the rope thrown around it at this level, then you can increase the pressure a bit. So what I'll do is I'll actually pretend like I'm going to throw this rope to the other side of the arena. So I'll stand back and I'll let it go, okay? So there's a lot more movement in my arm. There's a lot more movement in the rope, okay? Again, if your horse jumps or reacts or moves, just keep repeating the process until they stand still, okay? That's what we're looking for. We're looking for a horse that is comfortable to stand still under pressure and who trusts us enough to know that what we are doing is not trying to hurt it. We want these horses to trust us and we want them to know that we're not going to put them in a position whereby they're going to be endangered.